Welcome to Lockhaven. So I started working on this new section near the university and I wanted to add some tourism and I noticed that I really only had a few vanilla hotels and so I started playing with the idea of putting other assets together with the hotels to make it a little bit more interesting and I came up with this quick and easy hotel build so we're just gonna try and find the, the center of this little section here. Um, hope I can fit in everything I, I want here. It looks It's beginning to look like a really small section. But you can see I have um, a lot of nightclub assets in this area, a lot of hotels in this area. And they're just, you know, the normal side of street. I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. So I'm just kind of struggling to find the center of this area. And more recently I've been more interested in kind of building just off the main roads. And it, I, th I think it must help with the flow of the traffic because you don't have people stopping and, and entering those uh, the shops or the hotels. Um, although you do create this junction and I want to add a pool in the middle but I you know not that small so I think we'll go with the the pool the health center pool and I think it's starting to fit in with the theme I want something a little bit old school and that kind of looks like the pool from stranger things which is not that old school and um, I've got a hotel in mind, perhaps my favorite ho vanilla hotel. And I'm making this really difficult on myself, but um, um, we'll get there. Sometimes those nodes just don't want to behave. But you can always delete them. So this hotel, it's just around the corner from the amusement park, from Park Life. And so I kind of started with that and I put that in the middle. And I just kind of put nightclubs around it. And this is all within reach of the university. And then, I don't know, a couple of miles away from one of my city centers. So this is obviously using find it, um, you know, what a great time saver, but it's very easy to zone these in. Um, you would just pick the tourism speciality and you know, it's just a simple four by four. So you gotta, you gotta add paths everywhere. Um, it really, you know, either having trees on them or not, it really gives your sims lots of options. You'll see they'll use their cars less and less. And it just kind of brings an area to life, the more places where you can allow your sims walk around. And um, it looks great at night as well when they're lit up. So I'm pretty pretty partial to the park life paths perhaps in particular the city park but I think more recently the zoo path looks great um, really really looks a little bit different and this um, having path at the side of a street kind of makes it look a little bit more expensive or in this case maybe a little bit more old school Alright. 
using find it to find a cafe so wanted to um, make this like a little complex so you gotta have the um, the seafood cafe or restaurant near the pool there's gotta be one here somewhere there we go a beach restaurant And I think it's my favorite right now, so let's call this one the Italian restaurant. They do really good lasagna. Yeah, back to the park life park. Almost did something different. <laughs> so I just want to, you know, add a few paths and um, a few more trees and some fencing or hedging just to finish off this area. I'll be right back. So hopefully this is really quick, really easy. Uh, I added in a few tables and chairs from Park Life. And we're right outside the, the real entertainment zones. And I hope we get a lot of use from this. And I'd love to see your ideas of incorporating different assets with the hotels. I'll see you next time.